Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing this tattoo from Ozzy Oski. He is an amazing tattoo artist, so go check him out. First, I will be using this Angel Veil Primer from NYX. Then, I will try to achieve the bushy brows using the Brow Natural. Natural. Brow soap by the Beauty Soapery. Mix it with any face mist or just water. Then just brush it up. Block the other brow using this Elmer's glue stick. What's that face? Then brush it flat down with a brush. I'll do my brows using a brow pomade. Make sure to make upper lines to achieve bushiness. Zoom in. Just blend it upward. Then clean the bottom part with a concealer. I'm using here a Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. 15? 20? 20. Yes, 20. Once dried up, you gotta powder the blocked brows. I'm just pressing it in with a sponge. Then brush off the excess. Then conceal the brows. I'm using the same concealer. Then blend it out. Powder it again to set the concealer. Prime your eyeballs. I'm using the same concealer. Then just tap it in. Don't set it down. I will be using the Beauty Glaze Neptune palette for my eyeshadow. Then get this blue, then tap it in. The keyword is tap, don't blend it just yet. I'm going for the winged shape. Then using this light blue, I will blend it out with a tapered blending blush. Blush? Brush. Brush. Yes, brush. Ew. Using this Morphe 35F palette, just tap in the black for more depth. Got the crease. I'm using the same concealer as earlier. Forget this step, it's not important. Using the Everblenda Pink Eyeshadow Palette, I will set the concealer with the white eyeshadow. Blend the black with the white a bit. Then line your eyeballs with the clear line graph ink eyeliner. Then draw a stubby stubby at the inner corners of your eye. I will be using this glamour face and body art for my white eyeliner. To trace the diamond shape, I'm using here a Wet n Wild Color Icon Call Liner in white. Using a Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade 120, I will be filling in the inner part of the diamond for a blank canvas. And don't powder it. Then I will be tapping in a bunch of galaxy colors like black, blue, violet, light blue. Make sure to blend them seamlessly so you don't have harsh lines. Outline the tree with the white face paint so that you know where the colors should go. I'm using here a black eyeshadow for my eyeliner. Using this BYS Euphoria eyeshadow palette, I will be tapping in the pinks, the oranges for the background, and for the tree as well. 
Girl, you out of frame, girl, out of frame. To lighten some areas, I am using a light orange from the same palette. To add the shadows, I'm using here a maroon eyeshadow. Using the same face paint, I will be outlining the diamond. I'm using here a nail art brush because it's easier to do lines with this. Then decorate your galaxy with some planets, some Milky Way, some stars. I'm lining the trunk and the branches of the tree with a brown face paint. To add the highlights of the tree, I'm using here a super watered down white face paint. Then adding on some sparkles. Then add some clouds at the bottom. I am now doing my foundation with Maybelline Fit Me and Maybelline Superstay foundation. And then some highlights on my face using a Fit Me concealer in the shade 15. And then you gotta bake. Make sure to blend down so you can't have harsh lines in doing your blush. Brush it off, then powder your face as well. Using the same shadows earlier, I will be doing my lower lash line. I'm lining my waterline using this niche Dome Mineral Cold Pencil in the shade Onyx. Then contour my face using this BTLA Contour Kit. I'll be using the Warm Bronzer and the Dark Bronzer. Add blush using this Caroline Oil Control Blush on in the shade Berry Pop. Add blush to your nose as well so you get that desired look. Then highlight my face using this AB Advanced Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Strobe. For my lips, I'm using the Premium Stain Creamy Stain in the shade Atalia. Add shadows to your diamond using a black eyeshadow. Send it out a tiny bit. 